El Paso Health Authority Dr. Hector Ocaranza is imposing the mask mandate because he says the state is facing a difficult time with the Delta variant of COVID-19. He says he does not want to wait until we see another surge in our community. We're see if that holds true or not. This motion passes. And celebration and anger tonight. El Paso School District joins other school districts in Texas that will sue Governor Abbott's or Governor Abbott over his executive order, which prohibits local governments and school districts from mandating masks. The school districts also approved a mask mandate for their facilities. Tonight's EPISD meeting regarding the issue was so passionate. Parents, grandparents, and teachers packed the meeting room with dozens more waiting in the overflow room and even more parents waiting outside in the parking lot trying to gain entrance to the meeting. When the meeting began with public comment, it was clear just how divisive an issue the wearing of masks in schools can be for parents. This is wrong on many, many levels. The health of my children lies in my hands. We are knowingly putting our children in danger. I wouldn't wish this kind of grief on anyone, students or parents. Not here, not in school. Emotions ran high with parents on both sides of the issue, those for students wearing masks in schools and those against masks for students. These parents even started heckling other parents to the extent EPISD police had to step in. When ABC7 photographer Jerry Najera tried recording the interaction and came up close to one parent, the parent tried slapping Jerry's cell phone away. The meeting was abruptly brought to a halt so emotions could be quelled. Minutes later, after EPISD police questioned those involved, the meeting resumed. Who's going to look at their neighbor and say, I'm willing to sacrifice your child? And after more than 60 comments from parents, doctors and educators, trustees made their decision. And I will be a yes as well. This motion passes. The motion passed with the one trustee who did not wear a mask voting against the motion. I'm super happy. I'm excited. I, I think we're relieved more than anything after being in this very uh, tension meeting. Um, we understand that now our children are going to be safe. I'm disappointed. Um, I was hoping that perhaps we would be able to continue our freedom. I also believe in keeping government at the local level and with me that comes with my family. Will parents, EPISD parents, take legal action against trustees? Absolutely. What will you do? We will sue them. Now, Jessup does not know when that lawsuit will be filed. The mass mandate is expected to take effect as early as Thursday. I asked EPISD media representatives how the school district will enforce such a mandate. They tell me they have not yet discussed that issue.